Hey guys, you know, Stuart and I, we were out here shooting some stuff for some other projects, and I was just noticing how gorgeous the foliage looks on some of these trees. I haven't done a lot of walkabouts because of the ice storm, but as long as it was beautiful and I had a fire going and it was kind of cozy out here, I thought I would just kind of give you a little lap around the garden and show you some of the beautiful foliage that's, that is at its peak right now. This is just in the summertime, it's just a green Japanese maple, but look at how beautiful that golden kind of burnished red foliage is. I think it looks really gorgeous. This tree got a little bit of damage, but not too much. And this is fun, you guys. Look, I've got some beautiful camellia buds. This is a, I believe it's a shishi camellia. This is part of the Southern Living Plant Collection. And I love this, again, that same, that same color that's just kind of um, early winter, late fall, early winter. So come this way and I want to show you some other just remnants of what is left hanging on the branches. You can definitely see a theme of this kind of golden orange against all of my topiary, my green orbs of boxwood. And look at how pretty these hanging baskets that I did earlier are looking. I tucked some, um, some hyacinths in here, some color blends hyacinth bulbs in here. And look at how pretty, look at this foliage of these little flirt nandinas. They look so cute in here. And the buttered rum hookerella. Look, it took on a whole different, different hue. I think this is going to, not only are these beautiful now, but they're going to really, I think, be equally as beautiful in the spring. I'll make sure to feed them really, really well. And then look at how fiery. Look at these fiery barberries. This is a golden barberry. And look at this. This is something where maturity definitely helps Look at that orange rocket barberry. That is another one of those southern living plants. And it just, it really does look like it's almost on fire. And I could easily, look, you can see that the foliage isn't even coming off. So I could easily cut this and use this in some holiday arrangements if I wanted to. It would be gorgeous with some, some red berries. And then there's just kind of, it looks a little ratty. Um, but this Wajilia with its golden foliage looks kind of pretty, I think. And then also look at how, if you guys need a really great ground cover, like for a slope in a sunny disposition that really, um, that has room to let it cascade and really undulate everywhere, then a ketoniester is just, I think, a wonderful option. And I love the way it's foliage. Stuart, if you could get a close-up of how pretty it foliage is in late fall and early winter. Really looks gorgeous, I think. And then, of course, I've got my viburnum. If you could just take a little pass by the potage, Stuart, and look at this other golden barberry. So I've sung their praises before. All of these barberries, they're just spectacular. They're great four season plants. And this is just a perfect example of how gorgeous it looks. And look at this, you guys. Look at how fun it is because there's a hint of pink in this foliage and then you can see just a couple of those climbing old blush roses behind it. Those are the ty type of small little surprise vignettes that I love um, that you see only when you get close up in the garden and it's really it's a chilly but it's a pretty day. Here's another one of those orange rocket barberries um, I, I, there's no tougher plant. There's just no tougher plant. That's a Southern Living one. Um, and then we've got all of this gorgeous green from the boxwood. You can see that I did a lot of work back here in this bed, getting it ready for winter time. And it may be a common plant that has a 
a lot to um, a lot of drawbacks, let's say. But nevertheless, the foliage on this Bradford pear looks really beautiful, and it it kind of repeats all of this glossy, shimmery, golden tawny amber hue that we've got going in the garden right now. Stuart, if you don't mind doing a slow pan full circle over there to where I'm pointing where you can see the silvery heads of the oak leaf hydrangeas up against the fence. And then you can see the viburnum and what a beautiful little vignette that is with all of the barberries and that oak leaf hydrangea and the viburnum. Very, very beautiful and very seasonal. I feel like there should be some geese flying overhead or something. That's just a tiny, a tiny little tour. Um, there's, if you look around, you would see lots of Nandina berries, I think. Um, suspended from all of the heavenly bamboo, Nandina, the uh, 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 Obsession Nandinas from Southern Living in the Front are looking really beautiful right now in their, in their purple clothing, very regal, very seasonally appropriate right now. And then of course, always I think all of the boxwood, even though it's kind of fluffy, it looks very, very happy and very healthy. Um, if we didn't have still so much going on from the ice storm, I would probably do some more back here to kind of make it festive for the holiday season. But as it is, I am just going to have a simple Christmas, a simple holiday, and just enjoy all of the decoration that Mother Nature has already put out for us. I think it's, um, it's beautiful just the way it is. Stuart, why don't you pan back around so people can see our pretty little fire in my fire pit in the bistro area. You guys go hang some stockings or something, drink some uh, nog, or put up some more lights. Have a great holiday. Merry Christmas.